Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 54, the final drive. Money thanks to DLA Piper, absolutely glorious. Uh, the chalice, the last big chalice. We've got Seabros with, uh, <laughs> with <laughs> Ogres versus Dazzlestorm <laughs> with Rats, including a Agility 6 one-turner. And Razzle's pretty decent. Well, it's Razzle Storm. It's Dazzle Storm. It's his ult. He's pretty good at Blood Bowl. And Seabros uh, is pretty good at Blood Bowl, but he has ogres. In the booth with me is Daedalquist. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh, Razzle's good. Er, um, Razzle's good, but he's not going, going to overcome ogres with this shitty rat team. <laughs> right? Uh, he's got a big challenge ahead of himself. So. Yeah, I mean, he apparently misclicked and took Juggernaut instead of piling on on his... Uh, on his he's getting board. lucky with the first hit. Um, yeah. Mighty uh, it removes the Snotling. Not every every time you see that happen. <laughs> Certainly not when I play. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's setting up for a, quite a quick score here, which is uh, fair. Uh, you want to level... Yeah, You're just level as much as possible. Yeah, just level everyone up. He's got an he's got an apple as his inducement, so he's down TV. And yeah, just go for just go for leveling people up. Yeah, level, level up your team. I mean, the bad thing is obviously giving up hits. Like, you know, you're gonna win this game. It's just if you get people killed on the way, isn't it? Basically, is the only uh, is the only. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Running away from the ball. What? <laughs> we don't need that. All right, this is the only way that you actually lose this game. It's yeah. giving the ogres. A oh, you can just throw the snarling and score. Yeah. Yeah. You can just throw the snarling and score. Is he in the end? Come on! No, he's not in the end. No, dice. <laughs> I mean, he can blitz uh, this gutter, can't he? If he blitzes this gutter and screens the other, he's, he's, he's pretty yeah. safe. No, he just <laughs> needs the blitz on this. Can't get a 3D, can he? Here we go. Oh, no, diced! Comedy mega. Put diving tackle on him, though! <laughs> I mean that's something, isn't it? He's still like yeah, yeah, yeah. still seventy five percent to get off, but uh, it's something. Oh, hey, <laughs> <You're here. laughs> no, failed the pickup. Yeah, that was that was something. Just leaving the ball. I know he was unlucky to double one, but I don't know. I feel like if you're not going to pick it up with like the thrower, then just drop back and pick it up with the move ten guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, it, it was way too greedy, is what it was. Mm -hmm. uh, was pretty greedy. But then you were just advocating greediness against Underworld, and uh, <laughs> I mean, ogres, I would... ogres are several levels below Underworld. <laughs> Yes, but there was like this is different levels of greed, right? Running your entire team for in front, like away from the ball, uh, oh. by an entire pitch, so that your movement nines will have more time to reach the ball. Like that's that's a bit. It heavy was reminiscent. On the greed level. Yeah, it was reminiscent of Artemis getting his entire team split by one by one war dancer. <laughs> <laughs> J5's greatest moment in the bowl, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there's an instant 2D on the ball. Double GFI or dodge GFI, whichever way you look at it. Oh. Oh, not dead. Glorious. Yeah. Could make this a 3D, right? Could put the cat, could put the snotling there, and then this snotling could have dodged all the way through to make it a 3D. I can just yeah. come in here. And three. Wrestle. Oh! Ah, uh -huh, fair enough. Yeah. 
Oh, he's already thrown the uh, snotling, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Knobla. Knobla. I wonder if the Noblers are part of the crew. Oh my god, don't say that title for flip's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know if I've just got to start again now, honestly. That's what I was thinking, you have to. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. But it's funny. Hmm. Well, I, can, I can maybe beep it out, right? About five minutes in. I'll try and bleep it, I'll mute you, I'll try and mute you on the, uh, on the board, that's a good idea. <laughs> the entire board? <laughs> yeah, oh man. <laughs> it has. Could be, I mean, no, not really, I'm pretty sure. Not. Oh, dead ogre. Mm-hmm, sad times. It's part of the D&D &D campaign, it's not... Don't don't mention it anymore. I'll just I'll just send for you. <laughs> That's the best way to try to explain it or anything. Honestly, I'll just I'll just I'll just mute you for like when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, yep. So now it's all totally safe and good. So a bit hairy. To be fair, I've done this with Skaven against Ogres sometimes, because, you know, you're trying to win 8-0 and then yeah, uh, yeah. something goes a bit wrong. And <laughs> all I definitely of a sudden... you've done the same, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, like, yeah, getting getting away with it like this, you're you're very happy again. Um, and now Seabros is just scrambling. Yeah. As expected. Um, all, the, all the sadder uh, I guess he was actually close to getting a score. Really uh, close, yeah. yeah. Really close. Like, if, if that throw on turn one had, like, scattered forward, he might have just instantly scored, might he? Yeah, yeah. And if he hadn't picked up the ball, like... He even failed to pick up right. Yeah. So, yeah, really sad for him. Diced again. Diced again. But I mean, you know, he's got Ogre. Every right? goddamn time. He didn't expect yeah. to win, he had Ogre. And you know, he's, he's got a good chance of getting a split of the $50 for the highest placed stunty team. There, uh, That's a very, very good chance of getting $17. Or, well, whatever. sixteen, sixty-seven. Yep. Because chances are, all the stunty teams lose in the first round. <laughs> Very <laughs> high chance. Ridiculously high chance. Mm. <laughs> I can't remember who the who the flings are against. Um, but they've definitely got the best chance to flings, obviously, because Rick's against Hancock's monster, <laughs> monster <laughs> necro team. <laughs> and the ogres are against... A Skaven team with an edge six map with Razzlestorm at, at the helm as well. So yeah, this is pretty. Don't say it's over, but it's uh... <laughs> it's not looking good. No, but I mean the ogres get a drive now. Um, but yeah, I mean, we just played, so. it's it's about as shitty a matchup as the ogres. Yeah. Or get it, right? Um, the the only thing that could be worse is like dark elves or uh, wood elves. Uh, but even then, like the gutters are so 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 like well, close to impossible for them to deal with, right? So. Yep. Yeah, Skaven might be the worst. And also, like, they're, I mean, obviously not this one, but they're, they're also likely to have, like, 15 players or something, whereas at least elves yeah, often yeah. only have 11 that you yeah. can high roll against the elves. Very easily. For sure. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, high roll removals, should be said.
few punches. There's no tackle on the uh, on the ogre team, so <laughs> yeah, that does make dealing with gutters almost impossible. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and one of them was lying down for a, a second, right? And then um, he fouled it and nothing happened. Mm. And then he scored, so. It's that cool bomb gets nothing. And completely exposes an ogre as well, like that maybe yeah. wasn't, worth the, wasn't worth the exposing it. I mean, the thing is, right, if he gets that out, then no more claw bomb. Right, and mm -hmm. you don't need to be as sad about being exposed. Like he has to high roll. Like it's it's the same as the last match that we watched the, but it in the extreme, right? Yeah. The underworld versus the uh, turned up to eleven. Um, yeah, exactly. He should have he should have followed and followed and piled on I think there because he did have this uh, this line order screen. Yeah. I think he should have. Uh... Oh wow! Look at this. He's. Base the ball with a with a gutter runner. That's uh, if you're gonna do that, you definitely pile on, right? Like there's, the, he's definitely not gonna be able to blitz in and make a big gang follow yeah, here yeah. when he's dealing with all of this. So yeah. yeah, I think that was a bad non follow. And just three ogres probably just gonna. I'm not gonna dodge away. Blitz back. Gets the pal. And the removal from the super gutter. Well, I mean, this is the super gutter. I'd say that's the super gutter more than the Edge 6 one. <laughs> but they're both, they're both super gutters. Hello, Dr. Boogies. This is more useful in general play, isn't it? The strength of the game. Who should pile on everyone? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, the jugs he hasn't got piling on. Oh my god. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> okay, no one can pile on. <laughs> yeah, he should have piled this... on because he should have taken Dude, piling on instead of flipping <laughs> juggernaut. <laughs> you moron, Razzlestorm. <laughs> <laughs> you absolute flipping moron. <laughs> you're so bad, you're making us look bad, okay? <laughs> Be better. <laughs> it's on you for making us look bad. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? What a dick move. <laughs> absolute, absolute toxicity. <laughs> We need to make a 20 page fumble thread about him, honestly. <laughs> should, giving a, should give us a warning before he doesn't take piling on. <laughs> right. Unbelievable, Dr. Right dog. dog. You wouldn't let right us right. down. You'd take piling on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like jugs as we. I like jugs as well. To be fair, no, but the skilled juggernaut, not a big fan of when you could take piling on. Jim likes jugs. <laughs> as much as the next man. <laughs> oh, can the uh, can this guy get away? Not really. Gonna try though, and fails. Could have like run up to there and then got thrown a little bit further. But even then, the flipping gutters are probably still just gone. Get them, honestly. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> right, dog to the dog, it seems so bad. And like, yeah, it does give you some things, right? Like, like we saw in the Underworld game. 
if he'd had Juggernaut, he would have pushed on the one in nine and wouldn't have had to re-roll it and stuff, but it's really not that good. Whereas piling on is just bro completely broken. Broken the overpowered. Another double one on the dodge. Being very lucky has Dazzle Storm here, only two KOs, like no cas at all. That is the great fear, isn't it, against Ogres, like you know you're going to win. But it's just how much damage you take, and he has taken zero permanent damage in the first half. Still got two apples, so being pretty lucky there. Meanwhile, the Ogres have been destroyed. <laughs> yep. goes for the handoff there, so then could have thrown him with a strong arm and then scores. There was a decent chance of a score there, actually. Actually, a pretty decent chance of a score. Just unlucky again. Poor old Seabro's making a fight of it. Oh, the two kills stay out. So it's ten rats. Versus nine. Well, not nine ogres. Five ogres and four. Knoblars. How many numbers do you come in with? Pardon? Because that sounds. I, I've wrestled to remove that many numbers. Yeah. Four Knoblars are gone. Oh, no. uh, right. So quite a lot. Quite a lot of damage. That's yeah. why I thought you had piling up. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out you don't need it when you're punching fucking novelers. Mm. Oh. Well, not being down 2 0 is a huge win for Zebros, so. Yeah. yeah, really nice. It's been a long time since Chunter Vice, hasn't it? <laughs> Bring back Chunter Vice, we need to... <laughs> it's because he stopped screaming and went away because, like, sadness. Yeah. And it does long. Yeah, you do kind of need Chunter around to have Chunter Vice, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Selfish prick. <laughs> 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 what a fucking dick move, <laughs> leaving us hanging like this. <laughs> Outrageous, isn't it? Yeah. You better fucking stream his game versus, <laughs> versus Cruise. Yeah, right? Don't flip me. What a monster game. That's tomorrow, isn't it? I think. Both of them owe us that. Like, imagine no, neither of them streams it. Like, yeah. what the hell? At least Which they told is us very, a time. very real possibility. Yeah, that's true. What time was it? Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> I know it's on Thursday, though. I know, right, Rando Corrissi? It's outrageous, isn't it? I would never. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at the two poster boys for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah, Spoke Bearer Glorious, thank you very much for the raid. From the uh, the fantastic oh. Era BB. Uh, whatever it's called, Roundup. What thing? I don't know what it's called, but uh, I generally catch the VOD because I'm yeah. usually streaming myself. But Very cool, thank you very much. Big Pow. Oh, I was looking for something. Oh, yeah, I was looking for it when the Chris game is. <laughs> I mean, I'm not seeing this one's over. But... <laughs> yeah, I'm also not scrolling through the scheduling chat for that. <laughs> uh, 1800 UTC. So, seven for me. Where did you find that? Uh, Thank you. PC playoff scheduling. I replied with four. What a match. So, I just looked for a picture of my own face. <laughs> <laughs> That's more. <laughs> League Roundup, that's the one. Ah, the odds of ending up in the same bracket. Yeah, I mean, I haven't done a good job at losing, unfortunately. 
<laughs> and, like, man, I, I really hate that about leagues. And it's not just, you know, error BB. It's not a slight on error BB. But I just kind of hate that about leagues. That the best strategy is often to lose on purpose. And uh, I didn't lose on purpose because I can't lose on purpose, really. And... Yeah, it looks looking around the league, it looks like the second season's gonna be pretty brutal. Some very some very high quality coaches in the uh, in the top slots. But you know I've still got some I've still got some hard matches to come, so hopefully I can lose those. <laughs> get in get in not the top division. <laughs> Is he going to get a removal here? I mean, he might get the skull, but the problem is he'll just get one turned on even if he does. Yeah. I'm all Dibber! I'm all Steve. Invincible. Still haven't lost. Glorious. The funny thing is... Oh, I'm you're playing there as well, Steve. Mm. <laughs> everyone who's everyone's playing an hour BB. <laughs> All right, so I'm not everyone. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Some would say I'm not anyone. <laughs> you tried, didn't you? But you were, um, but you were too yeah, late. Too late. Oh, dice. That's what they say, at least. <laughs> 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 yeah. Probably just didn't want to. Invincible. Oh, it's all right, Steve. You can do sound effects. Just not not as soon as I've started <laughs> with swearing, please. <laughs> That's the bad one because it's like thirty seconds of starting a YouTube video. You want to not have swearing. Glorious Tiffany. Yeah, it was a good. It was a great entrance, though, isn't it? A glorious entrance for Tiffany. If anybody hasn't seen GFW, you should watch GFW because it's glorious. Yeah, it's a great show. Um, yeah. And like, I don't understand what pe what people are saying that uh, Rick is so nice and everything. Like he never, never swears. Have you seen how foul mouth he is on JFW? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he makes the worst innuendos, more innuendos than anyone. And we're a couple of degenerates on this channel. <laughs> <I don't. laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, he's he's pretty great. Rick after dark. <laughs> um, so yeah, Razzle using his first apple there, which is a good shot. Right, turn twelve. Um, wasn't a big injury, but might as well. Might as yeah. well. Use. That was death. <laughs> but it wasn't a good player, was it? It wasn't a good player. That was the point. Man, that's yeah. it wasn't a good injury. Block side stuff. But it was death. <laughs> yeah, it sounded stupid. Dimmy wouldn't have let that one go, but thankfully you're not Dimmy, so good. <laughs> I knew what I meant, god damn it. <laughs> yeah, Blood Bowl coaches as wrestlers, there you go. That is exactly what it is, and it's glorious. Kalon's in there. <laughs> Kalon with his, his, his many guard logos and enters as Mr. Tato. <laughs> Pretty great. He should have three trees on his back. Yeah, I might do something like that. Yeah. yeah, he should have. He should be maybe just like three trees. And stuff. <laughs> Things like that. <laughs> but he likes all of the people in Era BB all, all like to say how much he likes guards, so he's uh, I went with a guard motif. Yeah. Um, might have I might make I might make his logo Kalo three and then have three places and then, <laughs> <laughs> then he can be Kalo undeterred. Oh dear. Super interesting. S super interesting. Oh well I mean they're they're custom though speed and speed, that's the thing. It's pretty amazing. They're far better than Ricochet. <laughs> far better than Ricochet. Is Ricochet an actual wrestler? Mm, he is. He does flippy shit. Which we have uh, 
Muppet Batman for. All right. <laughs> and the bread mask. He's basically Muppet. Yeah. I don't. Know, I don't. I don't know if anyone's got Ricochet's moves. Probably somebody has. He's pretty. He's pretty good to be fair. So he does all the flippy shit. Depending on how much you like flippy shit, of course. I don't know. What flippy shit is? Oh, it's like flippy shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, flips and shit. <laughs> it's literally what it is. It's not. It's not complex. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. <laughs> Moving on. Some people are very dismissive of it, you see, and call them like vanilla midgets and things and stuff. It's it's all pretty funny. All of it. The 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 law of uh, the law of wrestling is pretty pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, I thought you wanted to. <laughs> well, I don't. Never stop. Well, this is over now, isn't it? Pretty much. Yeah. Is there an actually competitive game <laughs> that we're gonna have? <laughs> <laughs> 30 pounds. Not as small as Muppet, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this a chin into range with a break tackle? Doesn't even need a break tackle. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, really nice. Really nice. 3D oh, yeah. as well. Uh, it's almost like Zebra's not as play Blood Bowl. Mm. Almost like. Um, almost like Razzle should have game. like. Screen right? Razzle should have a screen with this guy in case of that, but never mind, he didn't. And uh, gets the Kaz there. That's pretty glorious. Yep, doesn't Apple what? it. Was the Apple dead? Or did he... Did, 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 Just badly hurt, I think. Clear die. Oh, right, right. Badly. I'm gonna use the Apple. Oh, he has an extra Apple. Oh, oh he had an extra Apple. Yeah. That was an even better call to Apple the last guy, right? Can you cast the game? Well, I thought it was over, to be fair. I thought it was over. You'd think it was over, don't, wouldn't you? Don't question our willingness or ability to cast games. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think you are? <laughs> it was a nice push, yeah, it was a nice push. But, uh, you know, it, Dazzle should have, like, anticipated something as well. Putting that Lino in like nowhere, right? That Lino just came nowhere last turn. He could have still um, done something. Oh, that that was bad. Yeah, that's just sad because Olders are screwed, aren't they? But I mean, they're, <laughs> they're still one, like one nil down is a good result for us. It's easy. This is the sad reality. Brilliant. It's a dream. A dream situation is being 1 0 down in turn 15. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the absolute dream of being 1 0 down on turn 15. It's hard to be motivated to cast the actual game. <laughs> Bono. Amazing. Oh, the guy you had on the ball that sort of almost made it difficult for the <laughs> threats to score anyway. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> cool. <laughs> there you go, 35 times out of 36, it's 2 now. And it's GG. And he's still got the apple in the pocket in case anyone dies in the last turn. So yeah, great result for Razzle. Yeah. Razzle, Razzle. Oh, Dion. Oh, well, there's going to be a really good match between uh, Dionysian and Andy Devo. Uh, really looking forward to that match. That's going to be the highlight of the round. When that, when that match definitely gets played. <laughs> <laughs> what are you implying, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Devo doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I don't know. Yeah, uh, I mean, so far, this is only the second game we've covered, and uh, one match was under was pretty decent, actually. Underworld versus Chorfs. It was interesting. 
And oh, he's given he's given you a time. Well, there you go. Uh, glorious. So that'll be interesting. That'll be a good one. Cruz versus uh, Chunts, obviously, should be a good one. So uh, this one <laughs> was never going to be a good one. But Seabros did all right. Yeah, good for him. I thought he did. Yeah. It was uh, at times closer than we would have initially thought, so that's a job well done from Zebras. Yeah. And yeah, maybe maybe Razzle was a bit slack just because you know he's auto one, hasn't he? <laughs> you know, like, yep. it's easy to be a bit <laughs> slack when you when you can't not win. There you go, nice nice one turn. Um if there's a blitz with an end zone kick or a riot, <laughs> there will be a chance for Seabros. And yeah, I mean, after that initial first turn of Razzle, there was a real chance for, for Seabros, wouldn't it? Imagine if he'd scored that. Imagine if he'd scored on, like, turn one of Razzle's drive, and then he would, you know, now he'd have made it 2 2, right? And he could have gone overtime, and he could have just won turn one. So. He did have a surprisingly big chance. Yeah. Obviously not enough, but yeah, yeah surprisingly big. <laughs> I like how these are all just there in case of I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> And that levels the Claw Mighty to Claw Pong. Amazing. So great result for Razzle. Unbelievable. Yeah, not only did he not score, he got an old kill, yeah. So, yeah, pretty unlucky from Seabro. Like, it's amazing to see a game where Ogres lost 2-1 versus Skaven to say that the Ogres were unlucky. But um, they were, so there you go. Commiserations, Seabro's great performance. Congratulations to Razzle. Uh, pretty shocking performance to only win 2-1 <laughs> and nearly, <laughs> nearly lose. <laughs> but, you know, congrats. I mean, you can't really put that down to him being... Or, right? <laughs> no, shockingly bad, we'll see. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dad. It'll be glorious having you in the booth. Thank you. Sorry for the uh, commotion cost you're doing. No problem. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>